everyone. All right, so we're going back to our Pioneers in Flight mentor text. We're going to do our fourth story today. All right, so when you open up this mentor text, I would like you to try your best to find the story Ranch Flyer. Okay, so if you're wondering what page this might be on, should have had it there for you, my apologies. But we are on pages 14 and 15. Ranch Flyer. Okay. All right. Peggy Dunlap Little is the author of our story, and it says she grew up in Fremont, Nebraska, and in Bighorn, Wyoming. Peggy eventually settled with her family in New Hampshire, where she is an active community member and a supporter of local artists. Her dog's name is Henry. All right. Well, if you had to make a guess, I know what a ranch is. We talked about that in our vocabulary. And I definitely see a herd of animals. But what does that have to do with an airplane? Here we get a chance to make some predictions. And the reason we do that is good readers it makes sense to understand where their story is going so that they can bring meaning to that story and understand what the author is trying to say. So I have a feeling that somehow this farmer, this rancher, is flying to keep track of the animals? Is flying as part of his job on the ranch? Kind of cool. I wonder if Peggy was doing the flying or if someone in her family was. These are some thoughts I've had just by looking at these couple pictures. I can, I think I can tell from this picture that there's not a lot around. If you look at the hills in the background and the trees in the open area, it doesn't seem like there are a lot of neighbors, a lot of roads. A lot of things that make getting around easily. So maybe an airplane would make more sense if you lived way out in the country on one of these big ranches. Let's find out. Start with the predictions, then jump into the story. Here we go. Ranch Flyer by Peggy Dunlap Little. When I was a girl, my family spent every summer in Bighorn, Wyoming. That's where my mother came from. Her family were sheep ranchers with enormous herds of sheep. Because I loved riding horses in the beautiful countryside, I was never so content as I was during those long, beautiful summers. In 1945, I was 10 years old. World War II had just ended and my cousin Gene was back home on the ranch. He was much older and I had always admired him. One day I was playing at the creek when my sister Bethy and my cousin Gene walked up. How does a quick spin to the mountains sound, girls? He called and he was headed to the barn where the airplane was. We stood back as Gene started the plane. The roar of the engine, the rush of the air made me dizzy. We climbed into the tiny cabin of the plane. It was so small, I had to sit on Bethy's lap. Then we were rolling and up, up, up. It was amazing. Everything looked so different. The fields, the mountains, our house and barn were minute. Jean flew us to a meadow high in the mountains where the sheep were. He was delivering supplies to the shepherds who cared for the sheep there. Jean explained that flying had a really big effect on the ranchers' lives. In the past, it would take all day to drive or ride horses up to the high meadow. With a plane, Jean shouted over the engine, it's a piece of cake. You can get the job done in just over an hour. So 
some of our predictions made a lot of sense with this story, didn't they? The fact that it was so isolated, no roads, hard to get around, the airplane ended up helping, helping deliver supplies to the shepherds taking care of the herd. Thanks for reading with me, guys.